I struggled a bit to write this review because the game just doesn't excite me. It's okay. There are good elements to the game and some clever ideas and mini side challenges, but there are also frustrations and they stand out more than the positives, unfortunately. So what's the story? You play as Furwind, a fox on a mission to defeat an evil big bad that suddenly reappeared. You need to fight through levels full of dangerous creatures to gain the powers you need to take down the bad guy. The story was fine. It's an old school 2D platformer, so I'm not expecting an epic Final Fantasy style story. The gameplay has Furwind running, jumping and slashing bad guys with his tail. You go through levels collecting two pieces of a relic in order to open up the door at the end of the stage. There are 15 levels, split five each over three areas, and the levels fall into five main categories. There's a daytime type of stage where you go through a maze-like area to find the two bosses, beat them to claim their relics and then open up the exit door. There's an auto-scrolling level where you need to run and jump quickly across tricky platforms to avoid death by the black cloud thing chasing you. There are tower levels where you move up the tower and have to complete puzzles to unlock the relics. There are single screen boss battles at the end of each of the three areas. And my least favourite, the dark caves, which I'll talk about more shortly. The daytime and cave levels are maze-like. You're searching for the bosses and then for the door. There's no map, so a lot of times I would go down a path only to have to backtrack when I realise I've gone down the wrong way. This was especially frustrating in the cave levels, where you're running around in the dark and where it's easy to miss a path out of sight from the light of your fireflies. The fireflies mechanic though, that wasn't fun. You need fireflies to see where you're going, and they die over time. They probably last around 20 seconds. When they die, you get instantly killed by enemies in the shadows. You need to keep making your way to the firefly nest to recharge your fireflies. This was really annoying. I was making tiny progress at a time, because I would have to keep running back to the nearest firefly nest. I'd kill a couple of enemies, and then run back to the nest for fear of dying. Each level has two save points, but you have to use your collected gems to buy a save, which made me hesitant to use them, because gems are also used to give you ability upgrades. The cave levels took an unnecessarily long time, due to getting lost and having to backtrack to firefly nests, and I just didn't enjoy them at all. When you slash with your tail to kill enemies, it's tied to a stamina gauge, so after a few slashes you need to wait and recharge. This mechanic didn't fit the game well. It unnecessarily slowed things down in my opinion. It also wasn't explained well, and caused me to die a couple of times before I realised it was there. The game also suffers from a lot of slowdown. It's noticeable when the game slows down, but even when it's running at its fastest, it still feels slow, and jumping feels floaty. I'm not sure if it's faster on the PS4, but it just doesn't feel right. On the plus side, I was able to avoid enemy projectiles easier, because they move so slowly, making it easier for me to react. I realise I'm being quite down on the game, but there are some good points. The boss fights for the relic bosses and the end of area bosses are varied, and there are mini side quests to rescue forest friends, or recover these heart items. I didn't manage to get all of them for the stages, so I'm not sure if they do something special when you collect them all. And you can also unlock new abilities as you progress, the first two of which were extremely useful. I can see a really good game here in Furwind, but a few design choices and the prevalent slowdown spoil the experience. It's not a bad game by any means, and there were some elements I really liked, including the pixel graphics and music, but the negatives outweigh the positives for me. After this and Ghoul Boy, I don't think I want to be pre-ordering a physical game before I've read reviews, so that I know if it's any good. Twice I bought the physical games before their release, that didn't turn out to be great, so I think I'll be waiting for reviews or skipping some of these in future. So guys, are you planning to pick up Furwind? And if you're watching this after its release and you've played it, what did you think of the game? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.